in this area. Deputy MacDonald. Thank you. Thank you, Karen Corla. Um, Taoiseach, on November the 12th last, I raised with you allegations made by a whistleblower uh, from within the ranks of the senior civil service. The whistleblower in question was the authorised officer appointed to examine a scheme of tax evasion through Ansbacker accounts. The whistleblower has come forward with allegations of tax evasion by senior political figures and obstruction in the investigation and exposure of these wrongdoings. The whistleblower says that his investigation into Ansbacker accounts, offshore accounts and tax evasion was terminated by then Minister Mary Harney in 2004 once Mr Desmond O'Malley was discovered to be one of the holders of these accounts. Well, you can't be making allegations like that please. You cannot make allegations of that nature in the chamber. The whistleblower further alleges that other senior figures from Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael also held these very secret Ansbacker accounts that were administered by the late Des Trainer and a Mr Podrick Collery, formerly of Guinness and Mahan. The whistleblower reports, as I have said, absolute obstruction to his efforts to complete his investigation. He further reports that agencies of the state have failed to investigate all of these matters thoroughly, including tribunals of inquiry. Now, on the 12th of November, Taoiseach, you directed me to the Public Accounts Committee. You said that that was the proper place to have these matters investigated. The Public Accounts Committee has been advised last night that we will not be permitted to investigate these matters, neither issues around alleged tax evasion nor indeed allegations of political obstruction or even indeed corruption. Question, please. So can you. I ask you now, uh, Taoiseach, what next? Can the serving civil servant complete his investigation? I know that he has made that request of Minister Richard uh, Bruton. Will he permit that? Will you permit that? What of uh, any Garda investigation? Um, I know that Minister Bruton very belatedly passed on a witness statement to the Garda Bureau for Fraud Investigation. Uh, will you be in contact with the Commissioner? to ask about progress in that case and any possible arrests or prosecutions. You sent me you. in the direction of the Public Accounts Committee, Taoiseach, these very, very serious matters will not be heard or investigated there. So what do you propose as an alternative action? Well, the uh, Public Accounts Committee did receive legal advice from the Oireachtas uh, that you mentioned uh, yesterday evening. Uh, I think the position has already been outlined by the uh, Minister for Jobs and Enterprise uh, in pointing out that all of the issues that were raised by the whistleblower, which by the way came about as a welcome change and reform here uh, by the government in terms of allowing for uh, protected, uh, protection of, of witnesses' disclosures in matters like this. Uh, and obviously the delay was... Um, was pointed out by the Minister who has since sent on the uh, documentation that is required and was requested by the, uh, by the Garda uh, Fraud Investigation Unit. Uh, now, uh, it's not for me to contact the Commissioner of the Garda uh, about the documentation received by the Fraud Investigation Committee. Uh, they know exactly uh, what their, what their, um, what their powers are and obviously will act upon the witness uh, statement uh, sent to them. Um, the question of, of, uh, of the charges that you make against certain people are not for me to answer here. There's a process that is now under train, uh, that is now in train, that was availed of under the legislation by the whistleblower and the documentation required and requested by the Fraud Investigation uh, uh, Committee in the Gardaí has been forwarded to them by the Minister and obviously they will make their decisions and follow through on, uh, on that. Uh, the Public Accounts Committee, of which you, re which you remember, did receive its own legal advice from the Oireachtas yesterday in respect, of, uh, in respect of their powers. Deputy MacDonald? Well, Taoiseach, it's not a case of me making allegations against anyone, and I, I emphasise these are allegations, but they come from a very credible source. 
and um, the whistleblower alleges Des O'Malley, Ray McSharry, Jared Collins, Maura Gagan Quinn, and S. Barrett, uh, Richie Ryan, a former Minister for Finance, and others. Sorry. And the, Are you the making these allegations here in the chamber? Pardon me? Did you make allegations here in the chamber regarding I am, I am, I am echoing the allegations that, that are very serious that have been brought forward what? by the whistleblower. That is the allegation, Account Coroner. You know that you, you know quite clearly, if you bother to check the records and take advice from the, the clerk at the door, you cannot name names of people who are defenseless. defenseless to contradict you. Well, Karen Corley, so there's a long established principle in this chamber. I know you're in you and the doll, but I'd ask you to brief yourself clearly on what you can and cannot do in a, a democratic the, the, elected the chamber. The difficulty, uh, Taoiseach, is this. And I wish to stay quite categorically in case anybody is under any doubts when you say S. Barrett. It doesn't apply to me. Thank you, Karen Corley. Taoiseach, the difficulty is this. The whistleblower alleges, alleges matters of serious concern associated with very senior public figures, some of whom are still in receipt of state payments uh, by way of pension as we speak. The whistleblower has told us very clearly that he has gone to every, every length to have these matters explored and investigated. And the whistleblower now fears fears that that will never happen. Put your question now, please. Thank my you. question is this, given the serious nature of these allegations against named persons and perhaps the more serious allegation that there was a connivance to avoid or even to cover up the exposure of these matters and given the fact that the Public Accounts Committee is not permitted to investigate these matters, what Taoiseach do you propose to do? Because they are very serious allegations. So, will Richard Bruton allow uh, the person in question to complete their investigation? Thank you. That's one option. Or will you as Taoiseach and will the government, given the seriousness of these allegations, propose another mechanism for the full examination of these issues, for the full examination of agencies of the state who... In You're over time, Deputy. Would you please adhere to the chair? Thank these you. ...these matters fully and thoroughly. Uh, the, the, the law was introduced here for uh, whistleblowers uh, to bring forward uh, certain matters of information that they, that they feel are relevant and important in the public interest. And the law is framed to protect the whistleblower and that's a, an important reform and that's a, a central element of the law and that must be maintained. The whistleblower must be protected. Now the, um, the Fraud Squad Investigation Unit made a formal request for a witness statement to be forwarded to them uh, by the Minister for Jobs and Enterprise. The Deputy is well aware of the reasons why that was delayed. Minister Bruton pointed out why that was delayed. Minister Bruton confirmed that the witness statement, as requested, has been forwarded uh, to the Fraud Squad Investigation uh, Bureau. That's uh, an arm of the state with particular and specific responsibilities and powers. And I would expect that the, uh, that the Fraud Investigation Unit will follow through and act upon the witness uh, statement that has been forwarded to them. Uh, clearly, the uh, advice given to the Public Accounts Committee is that this is outside their remit, and that's formal legal advice, I'm sure to them. I haven't seen that advice or read it. You're a member of that committee yourself. So the, the opportunity now exists uh, in the process of the law here for the uh, Fraud Investigation Unit to act upon the witness um, statement forwarded by the whistleblower and sent through the Minister for, the, uh, for Jobs and Enterprise to them for their, for their examination. Uh, this is not some kind of uh, uh, opportunity to send it away uh, on a journey from where it will never come back. This is a, re a formal request from the Fraud Investigation Unit that has been now acted upon. The witness has, forward, has forwarded his, uh, his statement and that's been sent to them Thank you. and confirmed that. In fact, I know that the whistleblower had that confirmed to him last week by the Minister. So I expect the Fraud Unit to Thank you. Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan. Thank you.